Now the first step is to restart you computer simply restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam go to library and then make a right click on saves to game now i don't have the game on steam so just make a right click on saves to this is just an example i'm showing with different game go to properties and then go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to now if you're using any kind of third party antivirus like a vast not on bit defender whichever antivirus program you're using allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now I don't have any antivirus program third party. I am using Windows security. So if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, and then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, you will see update and security. Now click on Windows and Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down and then you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Then click on add an allowed app, browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive and then program files x86. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. You will find the saves to game folder over here. I don't have the saves to game folder over here. So I'm showing you with different games. So open saves to select the game exe file and then click on open. Once the game is added, now type in control panel in Windows search box and then open control panel and then go to system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app through windows defender firewall now click on change settings on the top click on allow another app again click on browse and then go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file and then once the game is added click on open and then you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to Run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, go to Steam and then make a right click on Saves to Game. So this is just an example. Make a right click, then select Manage, then click on Browse Local Files. It will take you to the game installation folder and then find the game exe file. Now once you find the game exe file, make a right click on the game exe file, then select Properties, go to the go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check over here select windows 8 over here hit apply and then click on ok and then launch the game if that does not work select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game if that does not work put a check on disable full screen optimization and then hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from the game installation folder next step is to Perform a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA website and then select your product type. For me, it's GeForce Experience. So make sure that you select your product type over here and then select your series over here from the list and then select your graphic card over here. And then if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. And this will be game ready driver and then click on search and then click on download and then click on download and once the download is complete run the exe file and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then select custom option and then click on next now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete let the installation complete and then restart your computer and then you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphic settings in Windows search box and then go to graphic settings. And then click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder once again and then you have to open saves to game folder and then select the game exe file. This is just an example. So select the exe file of saves to and then once it is added once the game is added this is just an example once the game is added click on the game select options and select high performance over here now click on save and then launch the game next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so go to steam and then find uh, make a right click on save to game and then go to properties and then go to general tab in the launch option type in dash dx11 
and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work in that case you can go to properties once again this time type in dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website and over here you have to download this x86 and x64 exe file so click on x86 and x64 and then run these exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install option click on install do the same thing with x64 download this exe file Now once the download is complete you have to run this x64 exe file. Now if you see the repair option click on repair. If you see the install option click on install. In my case it is already installed. It's telling me to restart my computer. Once it is installed click on restart. Make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to update your windows to the latest version. So open windows settings go to windows update or update and security. Click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 GB so I will calculate as per 16 GB so and first of all we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on OK and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total RAM total RAM in my case it's 16 RAM 16 GB so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 GB is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 GB in megabyte will be 16384 into 1 1.5 1.5 into total RAM this is my total RAM in megabyte now 1.5 into total RAM total RAM that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total RAM now total RAM in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on OK OK apply OK OK now restart computer Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have these devices connected, disconnect it. Also, if you have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disable overlay. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on Save to Game, and then select Properties and turn off the option which says Enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn it off, and then you can launch the game and then check. Also close all the other overlay application like if you have discord running G force experience running close all the other overlay application also close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI afterburner revert you know any kind of overclocking application running close it and then launch the game perform clean boot now for this type in system configuration in Windows search box 
and then click on system configuration go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services and then click on disable all make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all and then click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall the game if nothing is working you can make a right click on save to game select manage then click on uninstall and after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and delete the game folder then restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive in that case try installing the game to c drive and then check if that does not work if the game is already installed to c drive in that case try to install the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel